There's a new soda in town, and it comes from Aldi's. And we will give it a taste right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So if you've been watching our channel for any length of time, you know I love soda. Yes, and Zevia, thank you Lord for Zevia, got him off of aspartame because yeah. you do not have any idea how much diet coke this man used to consume i used to drink like big giant jugs in the car when i was at work and then come home and probably drink another four six to eight cans of soda i would buy it whenever it was like buy two get two free at the store I drank a lot of soda it was like the thing that i was like you know what? I've given up everything else being on keto. I'm not giving up my soda. Mm -hmm. And last year, during our cut down to KetoCon with uh, Watch Autumn Keto, I decided that I was going to give up that as well. And I switched over to Zevia. And it took some getting used to. It I like the taste of it. What I didn't like was the cost of it. Because yeah. I was used to paying, like, you know five dollars for a 12 pack of coke and then buying them buy one get one free or buy two get two free so really paying 250 to three dollars and now all of a sudden zevia is five dollars for six cans so when he finds it on sale we add to our zevia wall yeah i have a wall of zevia no kidding it's an entire wall yeah so recently found out Aldi's has a, Z a stevia sweetened soda. Because if you don't know what Zevia is, it's basically a soda that is sweetened with just stevia. They only have a couple ingredients in it. So this may be the answer to the price that you've been worried about because Aldi's always usually cheaper. Yeah. Now, on like Zevia side, we generally will not pay more than about $3.50 for a six pack of Zevia. Normal price is $4.99 or $5.99. We wait for it to be like buy one, get one free, or we wait for it to be like on sale for $3.99 and then 10% off or something like that. So that's kind of like our cap is $3.99, like $3.59. So I was really excited to find this out. Now, I like a lot of the different flavors of Zevia. One of my favorites is actually grape. Oh. But... In this Aldi's one, which we found uh, just recently, they only have four flavors. Thankfully not grape is so one of them. They have a ginger ale, they have cola, and then they have Rachel's favorite too. Cream soda and root beer. Which are the only two Zevias that Rachel will drink. I feel like they're doing it right. So are you ready? We're going to try all four of these. We're going to give them a review and then we're going to go over our five things review and we're also going to compare them to regular Zevia. Right. Okay. Which one are we starting with? Now we have said in times past that you can judge a soda by its cola. Absolutely. Because your root beer is usually good. I feel like we need to finish off with root beer and ginger ale because they are both ginger and they may ruin your taste for the other one. True. So we will start off with cola. Yeah. We even said that last year at KetoCon. Like you can, you got to judge a soda, but if you like the cola, you'll probably like other flavors. There's some rough colas out there though. Yeah. So I do, the label kind of reminds me of when I was growing up as a kid, you got, we got like Shasta and stuff like that. Did yeah. you get the, like the like cheap, a, cheap stuff? Yeah. Like it's a little bit retro looking. Yeah. So it kind of almost like looks like RC a little bit. Is it clear? It says Summit. Um, yes, it is clear. So that's one of the things that's weird about Zevia is Zevia is clear because there's no caramel coloring. But I love that because I don't really need that coloring to enjoy my soda. Especially if you're drinking out of a can. You don't see it anyway. Can't see it. I mean, I know we do like think with our eyes and when I pour it into a glass, sometimes it is a little weird. 
Okay. That is good. That is actually a good now, cola. Now, it's not Diet Coke, but that is a good cola. I like Zevia's cola, and I think that's better than Zevia. It tastes like RC to it, me. It does. If you're familiar with RC. Yeah. Mm. That is not bad. I usually anticipate the cola is going to be freaking terrible. That is really good. And I, this is put out by Summit, which Summit. is, you know, the Aldi brand. Okay, ready? What's up? We're going to go with uh, ginger ale or cream. Do ginger ale because that's not usually my favorite. You like ginger ale. But as um, we saw on a recent video, Anthony must be my kid. I know. Because ginger ale usually has the opposite effect. It's supposed to settle your stomach. I love ginger ale. It usually upsets my stomach. Okay, you ready? And it upsets Anthony's stomach, which is weird. I feel like I need to rinse my mouth. Not that it's bad, but I, I'm... That is... It doesn't taste like ginger ale. It, it is not overly ginger ale. Let me it, have another sip. It's not spicy at all. Sometimes you get a ginger ale and it's kind of got a spice to it. It's not Verner's ginger ale. It's not that ginger beer that Anthony and I tried in the keto box. It's a little flat, to be honest. Uh, I'm not getting flat. It's, it's pretty bubbly to me. No, I mean, it's bubbly, but the, the back taste is kind of flat for me. Cream soda mixed with ginger ale. Okay, there you go. But that's terrible. It's not that it tastes terrible, but it's not that ginger ale taste. Like, if, you like, if you're like me, if you like ginger ale, you like that bite of ginger. So the and, cola uh, was like, yeah, and this is like, I would definitely Ugh. drink it. I would definitely drink it. Um... The ginger ale from Zevia is kind of funny too. And I think because what it is, is you're trying to get the bite of ginger. Right. But you've got to have the sweetness, otherwise the bite is too bad. So it's, it's horseradish. It's, it's finding that right balance of sweetness. And I don't know if Stevia can really counteract the, you know, right. So it's, it's not bad, but it's not a true ginger ale. It's more like it's a creamy ginger ale. Ugh. You ready? Yes. Yes. Cream soda. Cream soda. You're up, cream soda. Cause cream you go soda, first this time. Cream soda is one of my favorites. Yes. Root beer is my all-time favorite, but I love cream soda. And we're back. That is good. Cream soda is good. That is really good. You have my attention. I feel like that tastes just like Zevia's cream soda. You know, a lot of times, because I used to work for Aldi. Right. A lot of times, you know, you would get products, but it, like chicken nuggets, but it would be in like a Tyson's box, like coming from them. I think they work out deals with some of these companies. Packing and plant. They're, they're packaging it, but you're pretty much getting that same product. Okay, last one. Ginger root beer. So this is not root beer. This is ginger root beer, which is what all these, uh, the stevia one which is. A little, the Zevia. A little Zevia. bit of a bite, yeah. usually. But not bad, usually. Okay, so this is, this, I've got high hopes on you, little ginger root beer. So when it first hits your tongue, it's got a little bit of a licorice. It black, does. Which I've, ne I've never liked black licorice. Black Not bad. Anise. It's not bad. But yeah, it's got an anise taste. When you first hit your tongue and then it's root beer. It is not, yeah. It The Zevia one tastes different than this. Okay, so. But it's not bad. Like, it's good. Before we do five things, I've got all four of the Zevias over here. Are we going to have a taste off? Like well, sip one, sip one. I, I don't not? really need to do the ginger ale, but I would definitely like to do the root beer and yeah, the cream. Because they're saying it's ginger root beer and this is ginger root beer. Okay. So ginger ale. Mm -mm. Ginger root beer. Right. Now I will say these are warm, these are cold. This has more of a punch. Yeah, this one's a this more... This is good. This is this is mild of a root yeah. beer. This is a much stronger root beer. So, yeah. I'm going to say this is like if you've ever gone to like the Amish country or something like that. And they're where you making get the it traditional the root beer where they actually take that root beer and they, they make it with the sugar and they let it yeah. ferment. 
That's what this tastes like. And this is more like root beer, like A and W root yeah, beer. Yeah, it's like a cross between traditional root beer and like A and W. Yeah. So, but they're both good. I but think depending both on good. the price and accessibility, it's not so far of a bridge that I'm not willing to cross it. Okay, cream cream comparison. Let's let's go Zevia first. Okay. Honestly, I think they're identical. I, I feel like there's a little bit more sweetness in here. I, I actually really enjoy this. Okay. This I really, really like. I thought root beer would be my my favorite, but cream soda is I find those really to nice. be identical in flavor. It's like, it's like this is root beer without any licorice. It's just the root beer. Right. Right? Well, it's cream soda though. I know, but it tastes root beer-y to me. Okay. Are we trying the other ones too? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go for it. Excuse me. Oh my That's what happens when gracious. you drink all this soda. Good appetite. You ready? Now, this one's better. This one tastes like traditional ginger ale. Okay, so this other taste. It's, it's off. It's was off. for you guys because I didn't want to go back into this again. That that's off. It, yeah. It's 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 got a hint of ginger ale, but it's it's almost like it's a cross between cream soda and ginger ale. No. This tastes like traditional ginger ale. So if you're a ginger ale not, person, not strong ginger ale. Like what is the like Schweppes. Canada Dry or Schweppes yeah. ginger ale, right? So if you're into ginger ale, I would stick with the Zevia. Mm -hmm. If you're just Looking for a cheap alternative to something good? Go, go with the with their version. Last one, cola. Now, usually on Zevia, I like cherry cola, and I also like their caffeine free. I like both of those Stop. better than the regular. No, cola. caffeine free is terrible. No, their caffeine free is good. How many are you out there are with me? Caffeine free needs to not be a soda. Try that. Why does it always taste like gross? I'm telling you, try that. This tastes like traditional diet soda. I actually like this one better. Yeah. Wow. So we've got we've got quite the the mix match two and two. here, right? Two and two. Like Chuck Woolery. Yeah. Two and two. We'll be back in so two and two. I think that this is better in this one here. Cola and cream soda. And the cream soda are better than these guys. Yep. And then in Zevia. This is freaking terrible. <laughs> I think that Zevia is better, and the ginger ale, the root beer is kind of interchangeable toss-up. They're, they're different than each other, but it's not like this is terrible. Okay. This is terrible. Are you ready to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients, does a keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Now, Number one. If this is anything like traditional Zevia, they all have the same exact ingredients. Yeah. Uh, with the difference being natural flavor. So we've got carbonated water, natural flavor, stevia leaf extracts, tartaric acid, caffeine, and citric acid. That's the Coke. Okay, so these two have carbonated water, natural flavor, stevia leaf extract, and citric acid. Okay. And this this one too. So the cola has something extra. It has tar tartaric acid, which tartaric. I guess is what's giving it the cola flavor. Tartar. So let's just compare it to cream to cream, carbonated water, natural flavor, stevia leaf extract, citric acid, root beer, same ingredients, ginger ale, same ingredients. I don't curiosity and we're gonna go to cola does it say where it's bottled uh we'll check that in a minute cola has the same ingredients okay these are zevia products well that's what i'm saying like is it so this one is saying that it is distributed oh it doesn't say it's bottled it says it's distributed and sold in illinois but that doesn't mean that it's made in illinois no this is distributed by zevia in los angeles california but again they could be bottled in the same so they place. have the same ingredients now it's weird that they taste different but they do have the same exact ingredients i did notice something over here though 
that the cream soda here is less than one gram of carbohydrates, whereas all the rest are zero. Huh. And this one is zero. Okay, so that's interesting. That is very interesting. The, this one, one says less than one carb. Dang it. Well, that brings us to number two. Why couldn't it be ginger ale? Hey, I always figure everything's got a carb in it anyway. Number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label? So let me let me take a crack at that one. Okay. So the calories in each can is zero. It's zero, 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 zero. Zero fat, zero protein. All the way down the line. But yeah. Except for cream. One, less than one carb. I didn't say, by the way, uh, ingredients wise, I think they're great ingredients so long as you're okay with natural flavors. I personally feel like, you know what? I'm going to get natural flavors once in a while. I've given up everything else with my soda. I've given up my aspartame. I've given up most of the other chemicals. Give me back my you know, aspartame. The potassium K. I'm gonna. I'm okay with natural. No coloring. Flavors. No coloring. So, but overall, I think the ingredients are great. Give it to me. Don't you touch this. Okay. So yeah, does the keto based on a nutrition label? Absolutely. Yeah. Even the one that has less than one carb. It's Always really, round up. Don't worry about it. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna drink? Twenty cans in a day? Maybe. Not at six dollars or five dollars for a six pack. That'll keep you from drinking too many of them. So when we talk about taste, that brings us to number three. Number three. How do they taste? How does it taste? Um, I think they taste pretty good. I I don't mind this one. I, I got news for you. I've got about four six packs of it because uh, of the cost when I went in to get it. So I bought everything they had left, figuring Aldi's has the best return policy ever. If you don't like it, you can bring it back and get double your money back. So why not buy them all up? Well, because here's the thing. I'll drink it now. I'm not sure if this is here to stay or is it a limited edition thing? Did they have anything on the on the sign that said limited edition? I did Seasonal not product? see a special buy sign. However, it was in one of the aisles where they have that rotated. It wasn't in the main soda aisle. It right. was in an aisle where... There's constantly a rotation of different products. So they might be just giving it a test run to see if people Kind of like, like they it. did with their bread for some silly reason, you know, months ago. And yeah. then it sold really well, so they brought it back. I don't know. But uh, I think it tastes, overall, it tastes really good. Um, especially when we get into number four, which is how much does it cost? Yeah, I would say that the taste-wise, they're in the Zevia neighborhood. Yes. At the very least. Like, I mean, you may have different little bit of Zevia is a bit of an acquired taste if you're used to Zevia. diet sodas and stuff. If you're coming from Diet Coke to this, it's going to be a shock to start yeah. with. But so is Zevia. Yeah. Yeah. But one to the other. From Zevia to this. Very, very, very similar. Yeah. It, you know, a little bit here and there. I don't think there's a big difference. No. But like I said, Zevia was an acquired taste. I actually like, I found Zevia to be sweeter than diet sodas. But Depends I also made one. that switch, you know, after having been on keto for over two years. Right. So, uh, okay. So number four, how much do they cost? So it's got to be awesome if it's Aldi. We are in the midst of our um, little bit of a health scare right now. Yeah. So our Aldi's had a bunch of things on sale and I got these for $2.50 a six pack. But the regular price was $2.99. Okay. Regular price. And how much is a six pack regular price for Zevia? Depending on where you go. Four ninety nine to five ninety nine. Whole Foods normal price, at least down here in Florida, is four ninety nine. I've seen it in Sprouts for five ninety nine. I've seen it in our local Publix for five ninety nine. So you're kind of talking half almost price. half price to Zevia. Dude, yes, I'm on board. So even if there's a flavor where you say, okay, right. the Zevia one may edge it out a little bit. Half price. Though? Half price makes it worth it. It's like. You know, if you're looking at money and you're a soda addict like I am, you know, for half price, are you willing to drink RC over Coke? You know, for half price, I'm willing to drink the store brand. Well, because, yeah, it really depends on how much soda you drink. You know, I honestly use a soda as a treat instead mm -hmm. of having a dessert at night. I usually have right. like a root beer Zevia. So if you're somebody that's like, man, I only like the taste of that, you could probably afford to be more brand loyal if you only drink one 
every night or once in a while. Right. But if you're like Joe and you're drinking. I drink an average of three a day. So what I do with my Zevias is I rotate Zevia, seltzer water, water. Okay. So I usually drink a big one of our Two Crazy Ketos blender bottles of water. Yeah. And then the next time I want something to drink, I'll have like a Zevia. Mm-hmm. Or I'll have a seltzer water and I rotate. Like I can't have one of these unless I've had either two waters or a water and a seltzer water. And that helps me just limit myself. I'm so proud of your discipline. You're proud of me. Good job. Well, thank you. So so number five, would we recommend these? Absolutely. freaking lutely I would say um, if you have an Aldi near you, or is it Aldi or Aldi's? I, I never know. I think it's the sign I've is Aldi, bowl. but people are saying I got this at Aldi's. Yeah, I think it's Aldi. But well, we don't say I got this at Publix's. I would say if you have an Aldi near you, run over there and see if they have any. While they got it. I'll give you a little hint. Don't check the Margate Florida store because I bought every six pack they had. They don't have any more. So as a matter of fact, I bought a bunch of them yesterday. I bought six cases yesterday, you know, 24 cans to a case. Mm-hmm. And then I went back there today because we needed laundry detergent. Yes. And there were three six packs left. I grabbed those too. We forgot about laundry detergent. So I think that's that's very interesting because you are very kind. You're not a shelf clearer. Um, you would leave toilet paper in a health crisis so that other people would have toilet paper. But I'm but, not leaving this. But not this. Because I think, I, I, like I said, the where it was, I was like, I'm not sure if they're getting it back right away. And hey, got to stockpile my Zevia. If the poop so hits the fan. I need my Zevia. We need some Zevia. So, so. Yeah, so if you have one, I would definitely suggest going and getting as many as you can possibly afford or that you want at least. Yeah. For, because again... You know, healthcare aside, we don't know if this is a limited edition thing. Right. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried any of the Aldi alternate versions of Zevia. And which flavor would you want to try? <laughs> and, and which flavor is your favorite one? Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.